Hi everyone, Gridlock Cosplay here. I am well on the way to having my crafting space the way that I want it to be. I've got my folding table, it all works, it's uh, freshly painted, and uh, I want to make sure that the paint doesn't get too scratched up by my tools. So, I've got my tools over here, and I'm going to be building something to hold my tools. Kind of like a toolbox, but something that will work well on the nicely painted surface. Here's my current spread of tools. I'm sure I'll be adding more, but I'll start with these and see what I can come up with. My general idea here will be to have a flat base, maybe with a lip on it, uh, to keep some things from falling out. Have the bigger tools like the pliers and, and rulers and, and stuff that down there. Uh, maybe a cup here for the, uh, the the knives, and then I think uh, just some just a, a bit of a shelf here that has a bunch of holes in it for screwdrivers, and I can put a whole bunch of holes in there uh, and fit all sorts of of tools in there. And uh, oh yeah, a little bracket here for my long ruler, for my two-foot ruler, and uh, some other cups here for, I don't know, pens and maybe the sanding sticks. Uh, I think that will give me a good start. I mean, all of this, the rest of this space here, I can just put anything else there. All right, let's see what materials I've got. Here are the leftovers that I have from building my workbench, and this is maple plywood. Got some 2x4, some 2x2, and uh, this actually came from uh, an old bed, just a board. And this is 18 and a quarter inches wide. I was thinking of making it 18, and so I'm just going to have to make one cut. I was thinking about 10 inches, because 10 inches will be enough for my tools. Like this in there like that and uh, and then I'll be able to to have the two by fours on the side with some two by two going across as the handle going across here and uh, with holes in it for the screwdrivers and then taking this this old uh, board and having it as trim that goes around the side just to have a bit of a lip so that nothing falls out if we tip it over So we've got the base, got the uh, the sides, which will be standing up, of course, and that. I'm going to screw those together. All right, just going to flip this over and uh, drill some holes where I'm going to put the screws into the 2 f Sorry about the subpar lighting. I haven't done any of my electrical work yet. I just put the padding on right away because the screws are sticking out a little bit and of course the whole purpose of this is to not scratch the workbench. So uh, yeah, got those on there. It's good.
finished up adding all the rest of the nails in there and now this thing is solid. I'm liking it so far. sanded it down to get off the rough edges and then I cut a slit right there and right there for the ruler. I was originally gonna have like a little hook or something but uh, this seemed easier. Went through my recycling and found a couple of soup cans. Uh, one I think I'll put uh, there. I don't know if I'll fasten it but I'll have it there for the, uh, the box cutters and then these ones I'm going to attach right there. I was going to do it on the side, but there's no room with the ruler, so I'll attach one there and another one on the other side. in and added a magnet in the corner so that there it'll kind of stay there generally but we can still take it out whenever we need to and then one final touch is I just screwed on a piece of foam to work as a pin cushion and there it is my tool caddy is finished hope you guys enjoyed this video if you think that I did an okay job please like and if you want to see more of my cosplay costume building stuff, please subscribe. See you guys later.